Hi, welcome to our second tutorial. Uh, there are four sections of Room Z, but the majority of the uh, operations are done under bookings. So let's uh, go ahead and create a reservation here. Um, before I do it though, uh, keep in mind that I have three different types of rooms. Uh, room 101 is double, and uh, 102 is single, and 103 is an executive room. So click on the new reservation, fill in the check-in date, uh, we'll set that as today and check out date let's say he's leaving uh, day after and uh, notice how on the right section there's a room 101 showing now that's because the room that is available for those following dates and the room type which is a double is 101 so if I change it to an executive room you'll see 103 because that is the room that belongs to uh, uh, an executive room type in my hotel. Um, we'll set the guest count as one. Uh, let's set the rate as eighty dollars. Uh, we'll do that as daily rate. And paying customer, we'll set his name as Joseph. Um, I was gonna set it as a Joseph Doe, and uh, as you can see, Joseph Doe pops up on a drop-down list. You can simply just click on it, and the Room Z will load all this information automatically. Uh, he's there because I entered his name before. So click on it. Let's leave this field blank because uh, he's checking in by himself. And as for the other information, we're going to say he's checking in late. And uh, go ahead and create a reservation. And uh, close it. And you can see that his reservation has been created on the left section and at the same time on the right section. The today's highlights basically is exactly the same thing as the calendar on the left here except it handles uh, uh, only events that are happening today so basically here what it's saying is that Joseph Doe is checking in today so for instance if I move him so that he's checking in tomorrow I can by the way just drag him like that and go OK and he's not going to be showing anymore however if I move him back then you can see that he shows up Let's create a couple more reservations or well, I'm just going to create one more this time it's going to be for a company so he's checking in today as well checking out tomorrow room type we'll go with the double we'll select the room one guest we'll say $70 paying customer will be a company let's say they're coming from a, a job well done construction just a random name I came up with I know it's pretty bad and we'll select the company as a customer type and phone number we'll set that as some another random number here this time I would enter uh, uh, an employee that works for the company uh, the person's name we'll set that as a uh, Helen Helen Doe and as for the other information, let's say the reservation was made by Maria Doe, who works at account payable. And I'm going to go ahead and create a reservation. And let's say another room is being booked by the same company. All you have to do is click on book another room for the same guest. And as you can see, all the information is filled already. All you have to do is, since there's no room available for the uh, double, because we just took it, we're going to just select single, select the room, and we'll change the name this time for Grace though. And click on create reservation, and let's close it. And as you can see, now I have three reservations made. Same here as well. Say if Joseph Doe walks in. And he wants his room. He tells you that he made a reservation. First, what you can do is you can click on print registration card for him to fill in. And uh, uh, he can fill in the form. And meanwhile, you can just click on check in guest. And now he's checked in. And now he's moved to in house guest section in the green. At the same time on the calendar, the, the blocks color I mean, changed to green as well. Let's say Helen and Grace, both of them also checked in. Let's check out 
set them all in. And now we have three in-house guests. Now you can see the balance is zero and what happens to the balance is that the, uh, as day passes by their rooms are supposed to get charged. How Roomsy handles this is uh, uh, it uses a feature called a, a night audit. You can run a night audit by clicking on run night audit button. So once I press accept all the rooms are gonna get charged accordingly to their uh, daily rate and uh, the date will change to tomorrow. So let's take a look. Now it's December 3rd. Uh, yesterday was December 2nd when they checked in. And now they all have an existing balance. Let's click on one of them to open it. And you can see that they're supposed to get charged 79.10 daily, and which they have. And this other person, 9040, is of course because the daily rate is $80 after tax is 940. Okay, so now they're all supposed to check out today because uh, they all say their checkout date was uh, December 3rd. So you can easily check them out by clicking on the guest and uh, click on checkout. And because there is an outstanding balance, uh, which is 9040, you can see that there's a warning saying that uh, the guest has an outstanding balance. You can either go, to, uh, uh, or go and open an invoice to uh, handle his payment or you can just close it. Uh, the case you just close it when there's an outstanding balance is uh, uh, when you allow a customer to owe you a certain amount of money and you can bill them for it. I'd say um, that the majority of the case you would get the payment right away when the guests check out but otherwise uh, if it's a, a company guest for example um, that wants to pay you by check later then you just close it. So as you can see, Joseph has checked out. Now I have a two other remaining guest rooms. And uh, say if uh, both of these guests decide to stay longer, what you can do is um, first, let's say if 101 wants to stay until December 5th, you can click on the room and just change the date to December 5th. Save changes. And now you can see the uh, the checkout date is extended to December 5th. Let's uh, close the window and you can also see on the calendar the stay has been extended. Let's say if uh, room 102 uh, decides to uh, check out. You can go to 102 and again just click on checkout and uh, uh, here, uh, if you want to make sure you accept the payment, you can go to an invoice, but we're going to cover this in uh, our next chapter. So meanwhile, I'm just going to close it. So currently, I only have 101 in the hotel. I could move her, uh, say if she wants to go to an executive room, because now the executive room customer has left and she would like to upgrade her room. What you can do is simply just click on her name and then change the room type to executive. And you can see that 103 is available. Click on it and save changes. Go OK and close the window. And you can see that Helen has moved to room 103. There's another thing I would like to go over. Uh, say if the customer wants to cancel the checkout. So all you got to do is just click on cancel checkout. And the customer is back in your hotel. And let's also extend the person's stay same day as Helen and there you go now we have two guests staying at the hotel the last feature I would like to go over is an out of order say room 101 has a toilet leaking all you gotta do is type in um, toilet leak will take three days to fix and I can set the check in date of this out of order as the 3rd of December to 8th of December. We're just adding a couple of days there and 101 and create out of order. And there you go. There's a gray out of order block and the room will not be sold for next five days.
Okay, so this pretty much sums up about the uh, booking operations. In our next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about how to modify the invoices. Thanks for watching.